straight from the stage it's owen paul how are you exhausted even after 15 minutes <laughs> the audience were great tonight i mean it started to pour with rain like it does in scotland i've lived here for a billion years as you know and i'm from here and it was quite funny because i thought i was going to come do a favorite waste of time bring the sunshine and everyone go woohoo get your sunglasses on so i brought sunglasses and i walked out and it was like torrential torrential it did not dampen the spirits they were fantastic we stayed just for the first song she sang favorite waste of time and yes. then we came dashed in here because we had an umbrella and we didn't want to get soaked of course but why did you come on to that why was that not your last song well actually it's funny you say that um the band guys that we rehearsed before we came here, they, they asked the same question. Why do you want to do that first? I went, because most people only really know me for that. And I said, you know, so I think we want to go, who's that own Paul guy? Aww. And then when they hear, bump, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're man. Then you go, oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. So that's why I do it like that. So you don't live up here though now? I haven't lived here for a long time, actually. Uh, I went to London when I was 16. Uh, what's that phrase? Because the streets were paved with gold or something. Uh, they weren't. And it took me another 10 years before I got a record contract and then made records and then became a success after that. Well, one and only is just that. Oh, Chesney, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry we were missing it, but you know, Owen Paul. Chesney right. knows I can sing this better. Go on, have a little go. <coughs> Here we go. Let's, let's try and tie it in with the music. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two. Drum back. I can't sing, I'm, I'll let you do it. Call me, call me by my name. Oh, see, that'll do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell um, him I did that. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to post that. I can't do this, but this is too high. Right. Up here, then. Did you fly? Well, I would have done that, uh, but we had luckily it kind of worked out because we had a show in Sussex down south, and then last night I was doing a gig with Martin Kemp and S Club Seven and oh. Five Star in Stockport, so that made we were like halfway here. And also, the same as everyone else trying to go on holiday, these times, airports are not a lot of fun. Because I came up to see my mum in Glasgow about a week and a half ago. I was sitting in the airport for five hours, and the flight was supposed to be nine o'clock. It left at 2.30 a.m. I thought, you know what, when you booked for, you've got the contract, and you've got to be here on time. I thought, you know what, let's just go from Stockport in the car, go. Fantastic. Well, we're so pleased that you're here. After this, what have you else have you got planned for the summer? Uh, for the a holiday? No. For the rest of the summer, to be honest, it's a bit like Rewind or Let's Rock festivals, which I've done loads of. This is our peak time, and obviously after 18 months plus of not having any shows, I ain't turning any down. So we've got loads more coming up. You can get it from theownpole.com and right into late autumn so at, at the very least i do have one thing to say we interviewed pete wiley he was yes. absolutely hilarious he had a pint of wine with him and he said that it was because of you he blamed you i first met pete right when i was in the that mean it was your fault that he no, was drinking was, a pint of wine that's not right he was very funny in his that interview is not, that is not right i first met pete when i was a teenager right and his band the mighty wow were just starting out but they were big in the indie scene and john peel from Radio 1 liked them and played them a lot. So his gigs were quite busy. And I got on the support act bit. So me and him became very good friends. At no point, because I did not drink any alcohol until I was 28, and I was a teenager then, so he's telling you porky pies. He was very funny. Probably the craziest interview I think I've ever done I, in my life. I can imagine. I know him well. Right, we're going to have 10 quick fire questions to end with. Oh, no. Whatever comes to your head, yeah? I can, Super easy. I can do it. Yep. Favourite takeaway? Uh, Italian. <laughs> Favourite chocolate bar? Uh, dark chocolate. Favourite show on Netflix? Uh, Stranger Things. Lots of people have said that actually. It's my children. My children absolutely adore this show and like a proper dad, I join in. Favourite day of the week? <sighs> the one after this. Oh. Favourite festival? Uh, blimey, that's a, I, could, I had to do this quick as well? Oh no. Rewind. Well, you could say today it's rewind. Uh, yeah, rewind, it is rewind. I've done, I've done them all. I, last, last couple of years ago, before the gig, the lockdown thing and all that, I did, I did them all with BEF, with Martin Ware and Greg from Heaven Seventeen, and it was the first time I'd ever done rewind. So, yes, rewind it is. Ah, fantastic. Favorite eighties pop star? Whew. I like Ben from Curiosity. I think he does it really well. And he's, he's still going. I've not seen him at any festivals. So. Yes, he is. He'll be back. I really liked him. I like I liked the way he moved. And Favourite animal? Horse. 
I'm not joking. That's not a joke. Favourite 80s website? Um, Loving80smusic.com Favourite interviewer? Oh, it's got to be Helen Barnes, yes? It's such a pleasure speaking to you as (laughs) always. Thanks a million. Absolute pleasure.